Hello folks. Well, I've just taken delivery of two parcels today and I opened this one not realising it was connected to this one. I'm not sure why the seller has sent me two parcels when I would have thought they'd all fit into one box, but perhaps they forgot to put this in before they posted this. Anyway, inside here, we might as well open the small box first. Inside here is a hose. Shove the box down there. Here is what I'm hoping is an original Vax hose. It looks very like an Electrolux hose, doesn't it? Three lug fitting, very similar looking Electrolux-esque suction control and uh, a very Electrolux looking hand grip. But no, of course, this isn't for an Electrolux, as you know, it's for a Vax cleaner. I think it's a, a Vax 111. Now I have shown you a Vax 121 on my channel that was in exceptional condition and that came after the model 111. This as far as I know is the second mass produced Vax. Um, there was one before this. I think it was the 101. The 101 was the first Vax commercially available as far as I know and then came the 111 which is what's hopefully in this box and it's the first Vax I ever owned and I think I bought mine saved up my pocket money and it was about 1983 I think it was even though I was uh, a very much a Hoover man growing up when the Vax came along I wanted one and I eventually got it I don't know um, how this is going to open up. I'm not sure if I've got it the right way round. It's a bit, uh, bit of a mishmash of boxes here. Hmm. Not only, <laughs> I didn't realize it would be as complicated as this. I mean, really. Right then, folks, that's the first layer gone. Or is it? Hang on. Pop that there. Right. Ooh. Let's have a look. Because inside uh, this box, we have... <laughs> we have a multitude of other boxes. Yes, we certainly do. There's a box here. And there's a box here and there's another box. Let's just open this small box quickly first. Okie dokie, pig a pokey We've got some small bits and doings in here. We have got what looks pretty original but a little bit discoloured. I'm going to try some biological washing powder to whiten that up. Here is the original solution tube with the original metal clips that Vax used to provide, not the plastic ones. And this is the flow control lever. So that's that. I'll pop that behind me. Then we have the original instructions for use using as a vacuum and as a carpet cleaner a little bit tatty I'm sure I've got um, a much nicer set of instructions somewhere here is this all looks original folks this is the original furniture nozzle I was trying to think what that was called here is the original crevice teal here is the original I think dusting brush and here is the original and not as wide as the later versions this is the original Vax wash head I'm not sure if the very first wash head wasn't see-through I think I remember seeing early early brochures for this I have a feeling the first wash head didn't have the clear part 
but this this is the washhead I'm sure I had with mine when I got it when I was a wee nipper and here a bit dirty but pretty good condition we have the original German made carpet and hard floor, hard floor nozzle Wesselweg I believe okay so that's 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 got rid of one box right uh, let's do the medium box we've done the small now for the medium what could be in here well that noise suggests to me that it could be the the, the water tank possibly I could hear the ping pong ball now personally yes it is the water tank personally I would have I would have sent the cleaner with the water tank inside and then packed the filter separately but as long as it arrives without damage that's fine so a um, bit of sad news to impart as I unbox this original made in the UK Vax I believe they've discontinued the traditional tub shaped Vax 3-in-1 the Last model was the 6131, I've done that on my channel. And I do have one as well, I, I did sell the original one I had and then I bought it again a few weeks after I bought it and used it, put it away, used it again. The pump didn't work, pretty standard for VAX nowadays. But I'm keeping it, I'm going to fix the pump. Here's the uh, solution tank with the ping pong ball. Okay, just check there's nothing else in here. So far, so good. Throw that box behind me. There we are. We've seen the hose, so we still should be expecting the main cleaner and two extension ones. Which I'm assuming are in this box. Oh, it's hard work, folks. Try and uh, shove the box past all my lights. All right, where's the scissors? I'm just going to. It's Thursday work. <laughs> Thursday work. No, it's Wednesday. It's Thursday work. I'm going to take a swig of dandelion and burdock. So if I start burping, it is the dandelion and burdock's fault. Right. Let's have a look. This won't be much different to my uh, one to one model, which, if you saw that video, it's almost mint. Unfortunately, it started stinking the house out. The suppressor was about to blow on that machine. I just need to open that up and desuppress it at some point. Right, yes, here we have the original ones. I think all this seems to be original. Slightly different style to the later ones. Of course, the model that came after the 121 had black hose, black tools, a wider updated washing head. So they've packed it well, I'll have to say that. Hopefully it's well enough because uh, we wouldn't want it to be to be broken but judging by all the bubble wrap I think it'll be fine. Okay it's uh, I should really save this bubble wrap, but uh, I'm too eager to open the cleaner, so it's out with the scissors. I don't know. I bought this on a buy it now, and a lot of you will think I paid too much for this, but I did want it. I did offer the seller less than um, originally listed. So this ended up costing me a hundred pounds delivered. And I'm sure there's folk out there watching videos that have managed to pick up ones like this from a car boot for five quid. But unfortunately I don't go to car boot sales and in current times, I don't know if car boot sales are running. When I saw this, I've always wanted to get the Vax back that I used to own as a wee boy despite the fact it is very similar to a Vax I already own but it is different and 
it seems to have survived it's dusty but that that is going to clean up and polish up very well methinks there's quite a lot of gunk coming out quite, quite a lot of dust I don't mind if I mess up this carpet I'm not at home you might be able to tell from the surroundings but I'll be uh, shampooing this carpet at a later date this week I think maybe even with the vax the vax messed up the carpet it can clean it this I would say is all all original I can't see anything on this machine so far that isn't as it should be I wonder if the suppressor is going to fail on this one here's the original definitely the original because I recognize it a Marbo plug here and molded on now the thing is with the vax cleaners when they first came out there was they were a bit you know a bit exclusive so the main two places you could buy a vax cleaner back in the day was from an electricity board showroom or a department store and often electricity board showrooms and department stores would have vax demonstrators working in the store employed by vax to demonstrate the functions of this machine because when it was launched it was pretty different to everything else mostly if you wanted to shampoo your carpets in the early 80s you had a few options you could buy a bottle of foaming shampoo get a scrubbing brush and scrub your carpet wait for the shampoo to dry and then vacuum it off or you could use one of those applicators like um, a manual Bissell foaming applicator or if you were posh you might have had a Hoover shampoo polisher or alternatively you could have rented a big soil extraction machine with the, with the wand and the spray action from a dry cleaners and that's something my father used to do once a year until people could buy their own carpet cleaner so here we have it let's have a look at the older uh, rating plate so here we have it Vax Appliances Limited and their address in Joitwich it's a model 111 240 volts 50 hertz 900 watts the serial number is 185912 okay let's uh, remove the clips I think the clips might be different I'm not sure they seem a bit different to the 121 they've got Vax written on them underneath we've got which I expect is the original filter and this filter was always in place whether you use the Vax for wet or dry and I'd forgotten about these clips that hold the filter in place I can just gently ease that out you can buy replacement filters that will still fit this model it's a little bit dirty but it's not too bad some fine dust will have gone through I expect but that's not bad at all this is certainly more used than my uh, Vax 121 so so that's the motor unit you've got your mains on light you've got your chunky clunky on off switch so this is set up for dry use so we've got this uh, cloth filter which you can wash and I certainly will be washing it that's uh, looks a bit bit loose I'm sure it should be a bit tighter than that there is a little screw in the middle that I need to undo to remove this frame and then this single piece of cloth circular piece of cloth will come out for washing so that's for dry use only and then poof, it smells but we have the original I would say it's original not sure if the clip is but uh, here is the cloth bag you'd, you'd think I don't know if they had the option of paper bags when it was new I would have thought so I would always want to use this with a paper bag it's a bit it's like going back Vax when it was launched was pretty sort of modern and new and everyone wanted one and to supply a sort of Hoover Junior type bag with a, a rubber band type fitting on the bag collar here is is a bit odd but anyway that's what they did 
what I'm going to do, folks, because I it is a bit mucky. I'm going to well, first of all, let's just switch on first. We'll just see if it works before I start wiping it down and uh, seeing if it goes properly. I'm just going to pop this all back together. You can see it's got the uh, early wheels, only four. They were upgraded. I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember. I'd have to check the video. I think they're the same wheels as my 121. But after the 121, they uh, improved the wheels. Okay, let's pop the motor unit on. Close the clips. Right, I'm going to turn it on. Move it a little bit out of the way and see if it works. Okay, here goes. <coughs> She's spewing out a bit of dust, I don't know if you caught that. go. Oh, it takes me back. It's just, it, I said the main difference is the white, the white hose and the white tools. But I love this cleaner when I first got it. I mean, I was very young, young when I got this and I wasn't in the fortunate position I'm in now where if I want a vacuum cleaner, more or less, I can afford it. Mostly I can afford all the vacuums you can buy today but this was saved up for and as a schoolboy it was a bit of an unusual thing to want to have <laughs> I expect it was uh, I don't know Star Wars toys back in the day when this was popular I didn't want Star Wars toys I didn't want the latest record I wanted a Vax the only vacuum that washes She don't sound too bad. Maybe not not as smooth as my later version, but uh, I don't think there's much wrong with that. You can still buy motors that fit this cleaner. Just a bit concerned about this suppressor that will be in there. Um, so it's going to have to come out at some point. I'm going to leave it in though for now. So folks, what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, give it a bit of a wipe, a bit of a polish up and then we'll set it up for carpet shampooing just to check that the old uh, carpet shampooing function works. I'm going to take that uh, filter apart and give that a bit of a bit of a wash as well. But it's going to need a, you know, a bit more TLC, but all in all, I'm happy with my 100 pounds that this cost. It's a few days later since I started making this video and I said I was going to give the Vax a bit of a wipe down before attempting to demonstrate it. Well, it was a nice sunny day, so it got more than a wipe down. Everything was soaked in biological washing powder, rinsed and uh, left in the sun. So the hose has had a good clean, all the cleaning tools, the bag and the filter have been washed. The bucket has had a good soak. The whole thing looks just a little bit better than it did at the start of the video. I haven't taken the motor apart. I don't have all my tools with me here. So that's a job for another day. So I'm going to attempt to clean this living room. I'll give it a quick vacuum and then I'm going to vax the carpets. There are a few doggy stains I've noticed that have appeared since I last cleaned this carpet. So it'll be interesting to see if this ancient old vax is up to the job. Here's the dry use filter that's had a good wash. Obviously I took the screw out, removed this part of the filter and hand wash the filter in some biological washing liquid. Could have done with an iron really because it's not quite as taut on the frame as I'd like it but it's a lot better than it was. The dust bag, 
I initially hand washed it to get the worst off and then I popped it in the washing machine on a quick wash to finish it off and that's come up fantastically as well. The tools, not, not perfect but you know there's a bit of fluff in that, I don't know where that's come from. And the crevice tool, it does have a slight black mark on it but that will come off. I've got something at home that will remove that. And uh, the small cleaning nozzle looks a little bit better after a soak, as does the solution tube. It's still a little bit discoloured, but not as bad as it was when I started the video. Okay, well I'll put, well actually I'm going to need these because I'm going to do a quick dry clean first, quickly vacuum the carpet before I vax it. So I'll need to pop the bag back in and the filter, give this carpet a bit of a vacuum, and then we'll set the vax up for carpet washing. Okay, well before I use this as a dry vacuum, I need to remove the clean water reservoir. Like so, see that's, it was in pretty good condition anyway, but that looks new now, doesn't it? Look at that. To fit the dust bag, I first need to take the hose out, because it won't go in the little slot with the hose in place. So I just have to slide it in here. Normally I would put a paper bag in here, but as I don't have any to hand, I'm having to use the cloth bag after I've just cleaned it. Then on top of the bin, we need to put the dry filter, making sure it's the correct way. It'll only go one way. And then finally, we can pop the motor unit back on, secure the clips, there we go, and then fit the hose. Okay, well that's the carpet vacuumed, but I think I'm gonna to have to remove some clothing before attempting to do a bit of vaxing because uh, that was hard enough work as it is just vacuuming with the vax. Uh, it's gonna be a bit harder vaxing with it. Okay, well I just need to set it up now for vaxing. I need to take the hose off initially so I can remove the dust bag. So out comes the dry filter and out comes the dust bag. Now I need to go and fill the clean water reservoir with some warm water and of course some Vax cleaning solution. Before I place the clean water tank on top of the dirty water tank I'm just going to put a little bit of defoma in the recovery bucket. Now Vax always recommended to use defoma but you can't get Vax defoma anymore but you can get this this is Dirt Busters Defoma. I got this from Amazon. I'll leave a link below if you want to get it because it is good to use this in modern carpet washers, not just vintage machines. Um, I won't bother dosing it. I'm not sure how much you put in, but I'll just pour a little bit in to the base. Hopefully that will cut down on any foam, especially as this carpet has been shampooed a few times before. So, Defoma in the bucket and the clean water tank carefully on top. Now this tank takes just over three liters, but I've measured out exactly three liters of warm water and topped it up with 120 mil of Vax solution because Vax solution is 40 milliliters per one liter of water. So I've got the correct dose. I can put a little bit more water in there, but I think three liters, it's easy to remember for the dosing. Okay, so be careful with it. it. Smells quite nice. I'm using some Vax Ultra solution. Okay, so 
Next thing I need to do is place this tube with this little metal weight inside the clean water tank and then this little bit here slots in there like so. When we put the motor unit on we must be careful not to trap the solution tube. Just double check, yes I've got the blue filter in position. So on that goes. I think this tank got a bit distorted after I left it out in the sun. But it will eventually go on, that's it. There we are. One, two clips. Okay, carefully push the vax to one side. I need to take off the carpet and floor nozzle of course. And onto the end, pop the washing head like so. And then of course I need to plug the hose in to the vax. And finally I need to clip the solution hose or solution tube to the hose and the wands. So I'll start with that one. Two. I think this only came with three clips, I'm not sure. Three clips for the hose. Then we need to connect the solution trigger. That fits underneath here where the suction control is. That just clips on like so. It's a bit of a shame about these metal clips. You get three smaller metal clips to secure the solution tube to the ones, but they tend to scratch the solution tube every time you put them on and take them off. But I suppose those scratches might come out with uh, metal polish. I'm just trying to sort of open them up and try to avoid the scratching if I can. So that's one clip. Two clips and I can see actually where this has scratched where the previous owner has been attaching these clips. Okay I like them to face front. Just need to adjust the nozzle there actually. Then you pop the end of the solution tube into the top of the Vax washing head. Doesn't seem to go in very far but hopefully that'll be secure enough. Okay we're ready to do some vaxing. There's no pump in the earlier vax models, so what I have to do is lay the hose on the floor, switch the machine on, and make sure that the trigger is open. It is open in this position. It's got a little clip that holds it open. So like this, it's closed off. Like that, it allows the solution to flow. So I need to lock it into the open position. It should work, hopefully. So I just turn the machine on until the solution starts to flow through the tube and ends up just here at the end of the nozzle. Well, that seemed to work fine. I've now got solution running all the way to the head. So now I can start vaxing. Wish me luck.
Cool. <laughs> Who needs a gym when you have a Vax 111 carpet cleaner? Right, well, I've run out of solution. I thought I'd managed to clean the whole of the room before I did, but I've been going quite slow. So um, I've done about two thirds, three quarters of the room, perhaps. So I do need to refill. We can also look at the dirty water. If it is very dirty, it shouldn't be, but you never know. All right, let's take off the motor unit. Again, it's sticking to the solution tank. There we go. Whew, there's a little bit of solution left in the bottom. There always is, it never seems to suck all of it out. Right, I'll just put that to one side, try and keep it attached to the hose. Well, that defoamer seems to work anyway. Well, it's very hard to tell because it's in a black tub, but that water looks pretty grimy. I wasn't expecting this water to be dark brown. This carpet was shampooed only a few weeks ago, but there's still dirt in the carpet. The room smells lovely. And I think the Vax has managed to remove those dog stains. Okay, well, I better empty this, fill it up with some fresh solution and finish the job. I'm sweating cobs, as Victoria Wood used to say. It's no wonder people were slimmer in the 80s, especially people who owned a Vax 111. Okie dokie, let's have one last look at the dirty water. There you go. Again, it looks similar to the first load of dirty water I got out of the carpet. Not too filthy, but this carpet is certainly looking a lot brighter and it feels softer as well and the whole room smells very fragrant well folks i won't pretend that that wasn't hard work but it was a nice trip down memory lane for me to remember what it was like to shampoo carpets in the 1980s i've got another video coming up featuring this vax so i was going to include it in this video but it's gone on for far too long already so we'll see in the next video of this machine how i can wash my kitchen floor using the Vax Automop. So stay tuned for that. Thumb up, subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.